Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel Bofo Math. Let's today we will discuss the concept of borrow in subtraction. Now let's solve the example 43 minus 16. Now here 3 and 6 are in 1's place and 4 and 1 are in 10's place. Now we can't do 3 minus 6 so we have to take carry from 4. But how to do that? Let's try to understand with a very basic example. Now 43 means 4 tens and 3 ones. Now this bundle is of 10 sticks. Now this is 1 tens, 2 tens, 3 tens and 4 tens. So this represent 4 tens which is 40 and 3 ones. So we'll keep this math sticks, loose math sticks here. Each math stick represent 1 ones. So this complete represents 43. Now we have to do minus 16. So 6 is in the 1's place. That means we have to take away 6 1's from 3 1's. But is it possible? No. We cannot take 6 1's from 3 1's because we are having less 1's here. But, so what we will do? We will go to 10's and ask for borrow. But 10's can only give us bundle. 10's cannot give me loose sticks. So it will give me complete one bundle. So this is the reason children why we cut 4 and write down 3. Because we are taking 1 tens from the tens part. And when this 1 tens reaches in the ones place, it cannot have bundle. We always have to set them free. Because loose sticks are always there in ones place. So now we have 10 sticks here. This is the reason why we cut 4, write down 3 and here we write down 13 because 10, because 1 tens is 10 ones. So 10 plus 3 is 13. We have 13 sticks here. You can count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. We have 13 sticks here. Now can we take 6 ones from 13 ones? Yes, we can take 6 ones from 13 ones. So let's take 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we take away 6 sticks, 6 ones from 13 ones. So how many ones are left now? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So we have 7 ones and we have to take away 1 tens from this 3 tens. So we'll take away 1 tens and how many tens are left now? So the answer is 27. I hope you understood the concept of borrow. If you like my video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching. Bye.